All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be building our very first website. Now, because we've only talked about HTML so far, so how to structure websites using HTML elements, and we haven't yet gotten to the part where we've learned about styling using CSS, then we're kind of limited in terms of the kind of websites that we can make. But fear not, our websites are going to be right up there with the internet titans, but just way back in 1997. So do you remember what Yahoo looked like when it first launched? Or do you remember what Google looked like when it first came out? No, don't remember? Well, there's a great website that can show you exactly that. And it's called the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. And you can find it at web.archive.org. Now in here, if you just enter the URL of a website that you're interested in, say yahoo.com, then it shows you what this website looks like all the way from 1996 to current day, which is 2017. Now let's have a look at what Yahoo looked like originally on the first day it was crawled. So 17th of October, 1996. So let's go ahead and click on that snapshot. And this is exactly what it looks like. So if we close off this frame, you can see it's almost like as if you've time traveled back to 1996 when Yahoo first launched and you were visiting this website for the first time. Now, as you can see, most of this is just pure HTML. It's a lot of structure and a lot of formatting, but it looks really ugly, but it's okay because it's a great place to get started with. So this is the sort of website that we're going to be building by the end of this module. Now I hear you say, oh, but this looks terrible. We're in 2017, surely nobody builds websites like this anymore. Well, this is an interesting anecdote that you might not know. If you have a look at some of the world's top computer science professors and you look at their personal pages that they've built, they all look a little bit like this. Not so dissimilar from the websites in 1996. So this is Thomas Corman, who's a serious algorithm guy. And this is a website of John Kleinberg, another huge name computer science professor. And of course, the king himself, Donald Knuth, has a website that looks like this. So if it's good enough for these computer science titans, then it's probably good enough also for our very first website. So by the end of this module, we're going to build a website that looks much like this, something that we can put up online to show what we've done, our CV, as well as our hobbies and things that we like to do. So you can use it as a personal site or somewhere to list your CV online. So I hope you're excited because I'm super excited. And once you're ready, let's go ahead and create our very first website.